Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, the uh, last episode we were beginning to work on this rover that's going to be uh, a part of uh, Hope's new kit. And I want to start out with uh, going and checking. You guys have been knocking it out of the park for the comments, and one of them was I put the wrong ammo type in production. So, I need to take a look at that. So, inventory, production. Um... So go back to this guy and let's see here we need assault shells not auto cannon shells because I'm a dork so assault shells for small and large that's why I looked at that I was like oh that's that's cute that's got to be these right it doesn't I don't need those I need these so I don't need these I need these and definitely need artillery. So those, whoop, wrong button. That button. And that button. Okay. Yeah. So, well, along with that, I need to move Hope a little bit to give room for our new rover friend underneath. So I'm just building it here, so I haven't had an idea how big the overall footprint could be. Uh, I still have room. I can come forward a bit. Probably will do something like that. But the top to bottom size is not set in stone. Um, yeah, I got room. There's there's room to room to happen. It is not going in hope. That is... <laughs> no. I'm fine with uh, the mule fitting in there, but this is not going in there. That is not part of this plan. So as far as us having room to make this work, I, I'm, I'm confident it's going to be all right. So I want to look at something real quick. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Counting with Havoc. One, two, they are three by three. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking they were one longer than they were wide, but they're not. They just have that illusion, I guess. So, um, question was also asked, what's the point of this? Um, specifically, what's the point of this build? Um, this is going to be a four into next season. So, I uh, don't want to say much more than that. We'll see as things evolve, I hope. So, let's see here. That's the center. Obviously, it's not the center. If that's the center, then it's not... Oh, I'm missing a block there. Yeah, okay, we're good. So this will give us four wide. But especially if I'm out of the way. Oh, alright, so that gives us four on each side. That makes me feel better, because I thought I was building... off-center, and that might trigger people. It might trigger me. So, um... So I think we're going to do, I talked about it a little bit the, towards the end of last episode, is we're going to do something along the lines of, yep, there it was. Let's go that way. Do something like this. I think this will get changed later, but... Let's put a flange on there just for shenanigans. Okay, like so. Yeah, I like it. Nope. It's gotta be a three. Yeah, that's the ticket. And then we'll need a dose for that. The deuce. Okay. All right, and for the sake of building towards the front, 
going to put that on there too. Could have done a triple. It could cross connect them. No, the container is going to hold that together. <laughs> the container's functioning. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about. Hmm. So one, two. In theory, we could put a bob right here. Come on, get in there, have it. Something like that. So it'd give us keep us getting access to the side of the containers. I think I'm gonna do it. And work as as our 90 as well. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay, then you go back over to six. Donk. Like so. Cool. Like it. Okay. Uh, or detector needs to get put in here, so doesn't it? It's a few other things like antennas and yeah, similar type things. Uh, I need to get a couple gyros. Uh, we got a plethora of batteries. They're down inside here. You can see them in there, um, right there. All needing power cells. Which let's head over to the base. See so if we can queue up a few of them. Okay, I don't know what those are about, but do you like making those? You do. All right. So then we're gonna go ahead and queue up a couple thousand of them, a couple thousand of them. Okay, that'll work. Oh, this is looking great. And I want to repeat this again over here. Got to do it a couple more times, but do it one more time just to get the front built. There we go. So I'm going to go out, right? Then over. Straight with a flange, that a double flanged. That bad boy right there. Come on now. Then we need. Come on, I know it's in there. That guy. Looks interesting. There we go. That was way too many characters. That's what you get for trying to type one handed havoc. Good job. Okay. So put that like that. So that'll get us four assemblers if we kit this out all the way around the refineries to see. Okay, so that's six going. Yes. This guy. I want to make sure it looks the same uh, to the front. Okay, I'm glad I looked. Come on. There we go. Boom. I'm starting to get too many things in these wheels. It almost be more convenient at this point to 
have specific things I use a lot, kind of like how this is on my hotbar as a two. Okay, all right, so that works. And that allows me to continue the catwalk in through here like I wanted. So just for the sake of shenanigans, super unnecessary, but I do like me some catwalks. You guys know that. So a catwalk from here over to here, and then from here back there and then over to there. And then continue around. So this pattern we use down here, that'll go over here. And looking down at that, that is a perfect opportunity for a gyro. I don't think we, I think we only need two. Because just having a vehicle be able to gyroscope any is, in my opinion, a positive thing. So in those last two spots, we could put an ore detector and other shenanigans. Yeah, I like that idea. Actually, I put something right there as well, huh? Beacon and uh, ore detector. Good old fashioned ore detector. Or an azimuth. Let's go with an old fashioned one. Um, it just means it's one less mod that I have to have loaded because right now we're not using any azimuth. I'm using some cargo cargo container mods. This is the EL pipes tubes. You can see it right there on the right hand side of the screen. I think that's it. Oh, and Bob. Yeah. Oh, no, Gravel Sifter. That's in here, too. Okay. Meh. But Asthma's not in here, so... I used Warframe batteries, so... That's not a part of it. So, nine. More speed upgrades. I'm still surprised that haven't been attacked. They found us, and they started headed our direction. So, yeah. Okay, so what do I put in this corner? Again, this would go back to azimuth, so... Put a beacon in there, but that's kind of foolish. I feel as though it is, at least. I love that I'll be able to walk through here. That'll be nice. I'm thinking about sloping the frame out, too, so not sure. Okay. Warning, suit energy. Oh, that's a something we need to get put in somewhere. Probably right here would be a good idea for it, huh? So let's come in. Let's just come out two more walks. Don't need you no more. Okay. Donk, 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 donk. Like so, or like so. I'm feeling that. Yeah, buddy. All right. And. I don't know why, but I'm feeling... Like that needs to be a thing. Not sure why, but feeling that. Okay. That'll work. So as for construction of wheels, let's see, let's get out here in no man's land on the toolbar. Okay. 
Uh, character tool. Actually, I need to put those back. I can't unless they're on the hotbar, so it's going to be like that. All right, so I want to put that on there. And I want to put... Where are they? Let's put a jump drive on our rover. Yeah, buddy. That could be a thing, right? And what else? That's what I only need right now. All right, so we have a last door box. Um, I want that block specifically. Or do I want that? I want that block specifically. And then three. That. And that. How many hit points do you have? 12,000. 1.3 and 1.9. Winner. This was a check to see what I want to build the center supports for my wheels out of. Because, um, well, in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm rough on the things I build. So, yeah. Let's get back over here. That offer. I don't need those either. Um, no. Two, three, four, five. I think it's there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so yeah, that is the middle. Okay. And then I think what I want to do is I want to have two sets of wheels on this side, and two sets of wheels on that side, just for the front. That probably doesn't make sense, but we'll see here in a second. One, two, here. So that's two that way and two that way. I cannot mount to the sides of this. In no way. So I have to do something like this. You know, I want to put that here to put a wheel going that direction. And then here to have a wheel going that direction. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just have this like rough idea in the back of my head that I'm working from, so. Like so. Now I need to raise it up to put the wheels on. No, you can stay, I think. Just do that instead. Alright, let's go have a seat. Let's get some altitude. Let's try this again. Okay, overshot a little bit. That's fine. It'll, it'll buff out. So G, wheels, and we're going to go with 3 by 3 left. Like so. Like so. Uh, it's been a minute. I don't remember what the top is. Oh, crikey. Oh, hey, there's an arrow. Wheel could not be placed. Wheel could not be placed. So that's what I want. I just need to bring that down one more block. So I'm going to do a reverse. No, I have to do a straight. Like that. Like that. And then like that. Yeah. That's what I'm after, I think. 
Depends if this will hitch up like I want it to. Wheel cannot be placed. Is that because I was in the way? Or because uh, something else is in the way? Add wheel. I'm in the way. <laughs> okay, so we can use the cool docking the wheels. I don't know if I want to. Um, it's not going to work because as soon as I place a wheel, it's going to vanish. So in theory, I can go something like that. If they weld it... It worked. But is that what I really want to do? Because I don't think I'll be able to steer with that like that. Why don't I turn this? Because this isn't necessary. So let's try add a wheel. That's not the right one. <laughs> uh, plot thickens. What? What? Uh, reload. Okay. Thanks. I have no idea how that, why that happened, but okay. Let's go with it. Uh, I wanted the five by five. Oh, gee me. Uh, that's way bigger than I remembered. So there's the arrow pointing upward. I want that. Okay, so what if we do seven here? No, that doesn't work. That's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. Like so. Let's try this again. I want it out one further. In fact, I won't even place the where I'm wanting to put it because of shenanigans being in the way. All right, so let's do this. Just so I have something to click on to put the wheel. All right, I think that'll work. Yes. Which means I'm not gonna have an inside wheel. That is so not going to work. I can run an inside wheel, but uh, run smaller. So if the... That looks so janky. But it's buildable. We can build around that. Like so. See. I don't know. Let me in the comments below, guys. Uh, three by three or five by five. I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now, looking at this three by three. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it here. Well, no, I'm gonna leave this part here and wait for you guys' comments. I want to see what you guys have to say. All right, so got the shenanigans. Got our ore detector. We got assemblers, gravel sifters, refineries, six bobs, a partridge in a pear tree. That's not right. What is going on? Oh, um, offsets and stuff. No, wait. It's the same offsets that way. Why? What? Okay, center of here. Oh! No, it's coming over too. My brain hurts right now. Can you guys tell? 
Like, this shouldn't... It's this thing's fault. Yeah. Alright. I'm okay now. <laughs> I see where the mistakes were made. Havoc tried to build something nice. <laughs> okay, and then seven should get it to just pop in there. Or not. Okay, it's a one by three. Boom. There it is. Better? You happy now? Mm -hmm. All right, I think it is. All right, um, arming the top is definitely gonna have to be a thing, but I think I'm gonna have to cut it loose in order to do that. So um, let's prepare for that. Okay, so I was gonna leave this, but. Uh... Okay, so here's what the deal is. I'll wait for next episode to put the wheels on it. I wanna hear your guys' input, three by three or five by five. But I want to get the shenanigans in place that will allow me to drop this thing to the ground. So G. Artificial mess. Can't believe I can't build on that face. Just seems weird. Okay. So once these get kitted out. We'll be able to uh, use the gravity of the station of Pandora to put this rover on the deck over there. I need to get you out of the way. Oh, you're not piloted. Up. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. This thing's been chilling here for. Oops. Okay. No, 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 no. Two. Lock. Okay. <laughs> uh, unlock. There we go. This guy's been chilling here this whole entire time and has days of runtime. Large batteries for the win. Large batteries on a small grid, basically. And docked. Let's go ahead and shut you down this time, though. All right, so that'll give us the room. We'll have the artificial masses all decked out, hopefully, by then. Are you just not getting built? Is it a range thing, or... I think it's a range thing. Okay, if that's the case, then the rover being built on that flat, yeah, it's a range thing. Okay, so we're not going to be able to put it on that flat top there. We're going to have to put it up there next to the turret. Otherwise, the bobs aren't going to reach to do any other work to it, so... Bring it in a little bit, Get a little bit tighter there. There we go. All right, so basically what we've done is we built the frame. We put an engine in it. Now it's time to put some body panels and wheels on it. Wheels and tires. And we'll save that for next episode. So I appreciate you guys being here. All the support you guys bring to the channel. Keep the comments coming. It just You guys are awesome. It's great having such a wonderful community that you guys have been bringing. Don't forget to go over and check out Discord. All kinds of random shenanigans getting put over there all the time. This is Havoc. Have fun. And keep gaming.